Hello everyone. In this video, I'll tell you the steps to create your IBM Academic account. Okay, so your first step is to you have to navigate to a URL called ibm.com slash academic. Okay, this is your initial step. Once you land on to your IBM Academic page, it looks something like this. Okay, so once you land on this page, you have a button called register now. Just click on register now button. Once you click on your register now button, it will ask for your institutional email ID. Institutional email IDs are IDs which have been issued by your institution to a, every particular student. In case if you don't have any sort of institutional email ID which have been issued by your college, no worries. You have will be issuing your smart interns email ID. I request the people who don't have your institutional email IDs to request for smart interns email id we have given the links in your instructions now let's say uh, you know now here it's asking for your institutional email id right so let me go and get my institutional email id uh, like uh, as you know uh, we will not be having any sort of institutions right so i'm making use of smart interns email id in this demo okay so you have to do your institutional email id here or a smart, a smart interns email ID. Then click on submit. Once you click on submit, here it says it's asked for your role, right? It says that your academic institution is so and so and your email ID is this. So it is recognizing my credit details. Like it is recognizing my email ID uh, and it is giving our company name, right? So here in role, you have to select a student, okay? Your degree, current degree and a South degrees are same. Here you will not be having any sort of uh, BTEC or kind of thing. Okay, you have to select Bachelor of Engineering. If you are from BTEC or BE, you need to select only a BE. South degree and current degrees are same. So here even we'll just select a Bachelor of Engineering. Okay. So next I have an expected graduation. When will I, uh, you know, graduate? That is what it is asking for. You have to give your graduation date some when you are passing out from your college okay along with some month now one more thing here if in case it says like your institution is not part of uh, you know ibm academic initiative even you have to go with your smart interns email id okay for now here you can see when i gave my uh, institutional email id my institution name has been uh, found like detected that is nothing but as our company has been recognized or uh, it is a part of ibm academic initiative it has been giving our company name. if you get something like your uh, institution is not uh, a part of academic initiative then you have to request your smart okay so now let's go back and continue the process i have to select my department and here in this department please select computer science if you are from csc or it select csc Okay, and for the people who are from, uh, you know, electronics, uh, uh, like uh, electronics uh, sort of uh, departments, you need to select electrical. Okay, you need to select electric and electronic only because you don't have electrical, uh, like electronics, EC sort of things. You have to select electric or electronic or, you know, electrical engineering, any one of this. Okay, once you select your uh, department, click on this accept the terms and conditions here and click on register and then click on proceed okay here it, it says thank you for your registration we have to wait for five or 15 seconds if it is not uh, redirecting then click here okay or most properly it will redirect and the main thing uh, what i found you know many participants are doing mistake is here here it is asking for an email, right? Email you have here, you have to give the same institutional email ID which you have used previously. You should not give any sort of personal email IDs. If you give personal email ID, you will not, uh, you like uh, you are facing some issues like loading, right? It will not redirect to your next step. Okay. Here in this section, you have to give the institutional or email ID or a smart, inst smart interns email ID which you have given previously okay then give your name here 
set your password whatever the password you want to use set the password and click on next so then what happens for this sort of uh, email id i'll be receiving a seven digit a code okay now i have to give a seven digit code here now for the people who are using smart interns email id i request everyone you know you have to uh, look in steps we have given you uh, here you can see in steps we are given a link right click on this link you will be redirected to uh, some uh, web mail there you have to give your password a login id and a password which we have shared okay like you will be able to log in in it once i log in in it here as i am using this email id i'll receive a seven digit code to this email id let's wait for this code okay now here you see i have received an email right in this email when you double click and open this email you will have this seven digit just copy the seven digit number and paste here in this token and then click on continue then click on proceed Here you see I got a something like congratulations and your register is successful, right? After that, it will redirect, like it will automatically log in into your academic initiative. Okay, so now what you have to do is go to a new tab, search for cloud.ibm.com and click on login. Okay, cloud.ibm.com slash login. Okay, when you go go to that particular URL, it will automatically detect your smart interns email ID or your institutional email ID. Okay click on create an account see you see it is creating an account for me now now you see it has told that your account has been successfully created right once it tells that it will be redirecting here click on continue and give here the password which you have set during creating your IBM academic account, right? Given the account, click on login. Now it will log in, in it log in to me into a cloud.ibm.com. It is nothing but IBM Cloud. Okay. So here you see my account has been created in my academic initiative and IBM Cloud. Okay. So to get a benefit here, what we have to do is we have to go back to my academic account, scroll it down. Here you have IBM Cloud, right? You have to apply a feature code. Uh, now what happens? This account will be in a trial plan. I'll show you. Go to your accounts from this manage drop manage drop down, and then go to your account settings on your left. Here you see your account type is a light plan right a free light plan if it is a light plan we will get only 256 mb okay so what we have to do we will apply a future course where it where it gives us space something like 2 gb okay and we will get free courses and all the things so what we have to do we have to go to this academic go to that ibm cloud learn more and from there we have to switch to this software section and in this software section we will find a request feature code right Click on this request feature code. Uh, it shows a pop uh, an error for the first time. Click OK and click again. Request it again for the second time. Okay. Here you see you have it has been given me a promo code. Copy this code. Go back to your IBM account. Scroll this down. You'll have a subscription and feature code here. Click on apply code and paste the code and click on apply.
here you see once after my uh, ibm feature code is up, been applied here you see my account is converted to trial account from your light account and my quota is increased from 256 mb to 2gb okay click on close okay. here you see my account is been changed like uh, let's refresh uh, yeah okay my feature code has been applied here it you can see applied right it is varied from july to december okay this is the step uh, these are the steps you need to follow for completing your step one which is creating your ibm academic initiative accounts okay thank you